Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Emily and welcome back to Emily Reads Books. This is going to be a little bit different than most of my videos. This is going to be the first video in my the crochet vlog sort of a thing. It's going to be maybe a little choppy these first couple times around. Kind of like working around how I want the video to like look. But basically, I'm going to be making my own wedding dress. I'm going to be crocheting it. I'm getting married here in Belgium in the end of May if everything goes through every all good. I was going to design my own dress and then I kind of was like, I don't think I'm good enough uh, designing to do that. So I actually am mi mix and matching some patterns. One of them was a free tutorial I actually found on YouTube for the top. I wanted something kind of delicate and feminine and off the shoulder. And then for the skirt part, I found a pattern on Etsy that I purchased. And so I will link those below if you'd like to look at it. So I'm just going to get started today. The yarn that I will be using is called Twister Solid. And I bought it online. It's 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. It's very lightweight. It is a fine category. So it's very thin yarn, but I wanted something light and airy because it gets a bit hot here towards the summer, and I wanted something that wasn't going to be too heavy as a dress either. So what's going to happen is I'm going to crochet it in two different parts, kind of. I'll have the top and then the bottom, but they'll be connected, and then the back of the top will be a corseted back. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I will be starting with the, the top. So I'll be taking this and chaining so that it uh, goes around my whole body and then just basically creating a big rectangle for the bottom and then we'll be making the rest of the top. I will show that when I get there. <laughs> okay. okay, so I am finished with my first row. So it looks like this. <laughs> I am doing, in the video for the top that I'm following, she does single crochet, but I'm actually going to do half double crochets. If you don't crochet, it probably means nothing to you, but I like the way that the half double crochet has fewer, doesn't stretch in the same way as the single crochet does, and I just think it'll, it'll look better, and also the skirt pattern that I bought uses half double crochets, and I want it all to look cohesive. So this is long enough that like when it stretches around it leaves just about like this much in the back I want the back to be kind of open with the corset so it doesn't need to be tight it just needs to be like I'll have the ribbon or whatever through the back and it'll have a little bit of space but yeah so basically I will be going back and forth with this rectangle <laughs> until it reaches the bottom of my stomach to like where the skirt would start and then, then I make the top of the shirt. Um, I know that doesn't really make sense, but basically it's going to be a rectangle with two cups on top of it as like the bra shape. And then it'll have off the shoulder sleeves with kind of like a lace detailing. It's a really beautiful pattern if anyone is interested in watching it. Like I already said, it's linked below. So I actually spend couple hours every day crocheting I it's like it's kind of my like leisure activity I used to do it I had an Etsy shop for a while I'm thinking of opening it again but it's hard to I it's hard to monetize my hobbies because then they're not hobbies anymore and as much as I love it and would love to do a job that I enjoy in the way that I enjoy my hobbies once I start doing it for that purpose it kind of loses the value to me so yeah this um I'm really grateful that I have that I have the ability to have the time to do this and work on it I know that it's um it's a privilege to be able to to sit at home and, and work on my on my crochet every day and I love doing it but when when I'm just crocheting alone I normally have tv playing in the background and recently, Hugo gave me the amazing idea to start listening to audiobooks. And I don't know how I didn't think of it before. <laughs> but I'm going to begin listening to audiobooks while I crochet as well, so that I can still hopefully make my reading goal by the end of the year. Because I spend hours and hours crocheting, I don't have time to spend hours and hours 
reading every day as well. So it is a goal of mine. Hugo has gotten me back into Neil Gaiman. We were talking about him the other day. And I loved uh, the few of his stories that I had read. I think that Neil is master storyteller with fantasy and um, his characters are also quirky. He's kind of got this... Uh, I don't know. He's got this very eccentric and like ethereal way with his stories that is really admirable. And so, and they're also kind of creepy. Like I think they, they, they give off that very like kind of horror-esque vibe, which I also like a lot. So, and I saw that Neil has lots of his books of him reading them himself the audiobooks of them on YouTube. I'm currently listening to The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, read by Neil Gaiman, and I'm about halfway through it, and I'm enjoying it a lot. It It's kind of similar to Coraline. Uh, if you haven't read Coraline, I highly suggest it, though it will mentally scar you. <laughs> Hugo's actually talked about it on his channel, and I think he did a book review, and I will link that somewhere if you are interested in watching it. But we again have a child protagonist. We're set in a creepy setting, and it's just got this like whimsical, ethereal way that he speaks and writes about it that is so just unique to him which I think is really cool. So while I crochet my, my dress over the next couple of weeks or however long it takes me, I will be listening to that and hopefully getting some more reading done because I've been wanting to make more, more book videos, but it's been hard because I don't know if it's just me, but these pa past couple months have been so hard to read. It's just been book slump after book slump after book slump and even when I like I, I read If This Gets Out for the Bible Book Club and I loved the book I think I gave it four stars it was a great book and Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Diedrich 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 I'm not sure they did a a wonderful job with the story and Sophie's books just get better and better as I read them Although I will say I didn't enjoy this one as much as I enjoyed uh, Perfect on Paper. But I did love the story and I thought it was really well done and unique. For whatever reason, I was having a really hard time keeping my attention while I was reading. And it was hard. And then I also finished reading a book by an indie author. I cannot think of her name. It's Rachel something. Rachel Watson, I think is her name. I finished her book, Forbidden Healing, which is a YA fantasy novel. And that one, I think, is what got me out of my reading slump. She had run a sale for like four days where she was offering it for free. And I actually saw it on TikTok, of all places. I I read the book and I, I loved it. She was promoting it as like YA, you know, there's no spice in it, which is good for me because I'm not the biggest fan of spice, especially in YA. I think spice does not belong there. But the concept of the book also really excited me. It kind of gave me Brandon Sanderson vibes because the magic and the mythology of the world is kind of based in a religion, which uh, was really cool. And p some people have the powers to heal people, but the god sage is supposed to be the only person or thing who can heal. And it's- I don't want to spoil anything. Because I genuinely think everyone should go out and read it. <laughs> There's also a sequel. It's a dual perspective, and there are themes of, like, of family, and, you know, what is our purpose, and I suppose feminism. The only thing I would say is I felt like we didn't get enough time with a lot of the side characters. That made caring about them a bit, a bit hard. Also, it was it was such a quick book for a for a fantasy book where we have to set up this world, and you know a religion and and a, a political system it was less than three hundred pages. I think it was like two hundred and fifty two on the on the Kindle. It felt a bit short, and I think it showed in the fact that some of the characters felt underdeveloped. She wrote this one scene, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's like something happens to one of them. And the way that Rachel 
describes what's going on, I literally was squirming because I could feel it happening to me and I thought it was so well done and I that scene solidified the five star rating for me just based uh my rating system by the way is like so arbitrary there's like no method to it <laughs> that scene really had my heart racing I loved it and I thought that it was so well done that's pretty much the biggest updates oh and I've I've been reading Heartstopper by Alice Osman Osman Alice Osman and you'll be hearing my thoughts on that more separately. It was, it's adorable. So this is about where we are. I'm on my third row now. It's, it's a slow moving process. So that's why we're gonna, we're gonna skip around. <laughs> And every 20 to 30 minutes, I have to do some hand stretches in order to not uh, <laughs> harm the joints in my hands. So please excuse me while I stretch my wrists and my fingers. So I think I'm going to pause the video for now and I will come back to you guys either later today or tomorrow with an update on where I'm at. Hey everyone, so bad news. I had to undo everything I did and I'm starting over. <laughs> As I kept going and following the pattern and everything, I think I ended up making it a bit too small and I was worried about it not fitting the way I wanted it to. So we're starting again. And I am going to use a measuring tape and go based off of like measurements instead of me like trying to fit it around myself. And I'm hoping that that gives me some better results. <laughs> Luckily, I still have time to finish it, but I'm a little frustrated, but it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna start over and I'll give you an update when I've gotten somewhere. So I just measured my rib cage and it is 27 inches around tight and it's going to be a corseted back. So I'm going to try and make it about, I think, 26 inches and hopefully that gives me enough wiggle space and the yarn does stretch a bit. So like, I don't have any, I don't think it'll be a problem. I just don't want it to be loose. You know, I, I don't want it to be a loose uh, fit because it's corseted, but we're going to try that length and see if that maybe gets us somewhere. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so my first row has been redone at the correct length, and I'm hoping that this is long enough now. And yeah, I think, I think that's all I can do is just hope. <laughs> I'm a fool. So I started over again, or I, I've undid all my work, so I have no updates to show you. Long story short, I can't, I couldn't get the pattern to fit my chest, and it's very frustrating. So I'm going to adjust the pattern slightly. I found something else that I like just about as much that might work even better than before. <laughs> and we're just going to go for it and try again. I'm getting frustrated, but it's okay. We're gonna make it through. Basically, instead of doing like a corset with like two cups on top, I'm gonna make it one piece and then have like an overlay on top of it. I, I can't really describe it. I'm gonna try and put a picture here if I remember. If I don't, sorry. <laughs> You'll have to see it when I finally finish it. So we're just, I'm gonna go ahead and just start. I'm actually, no, I'm gonna get a snack. <laughs> And then I'm going to come back and start again. And I finished the graveyard book. Five stars. It was amazing. I'm starting Dracula, which is a reread. It's one of my favorite, like, horror uh, books. And I'm for, like, a third of it or something like that. But I'm actually going to probably take a break from audiobooks and, like, turn on something funny to crochet, too, so that I don't think too much about how mad I am about it. So... I will catch up with you guys later. Hey, what's up everyone? If you notice, I'm somewhere different than I was in the last video. 
whatever. I'm actually in the new apartment and there will be a tour soon. It's kind of a wreck right now with like boxes everywhere. So definitely tour will be coming, just not yet. So I wanted to do an update. And I'm liking it a lot more already and it's it's going better. It's just taking a while because the yarn is, is thin, but that's also good. So uh, right now it looks like this and it kind of looks like a half circle, but basically this is going to wrap around and become like a corset back like this. And this is like the bottom that's going to go down into like the waist and then this is the top and then I will have shoulders uh, pieces off the sides here and then it will lace up and tie in the back. I know it doesn't look like much, but that is like six hours of work or something. It takes a long time to crochet and I don't think people fully realize it. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than what it is right now. But what I'm gonna do is actually probably tie off here and go back and finish the, the arms and then continue on because I have to get my other pattern for the skirt ready so that I can start making the bottom of it, which is very exciting and I'm hoping it all fits. I'm really loving the yarn. Very breathable and lightweight. I was a little worried about how heavy the dress would be, but it's actually it's actually very light. And I think I think I chose well for the yarn. And I'm very happy with it. It's a soft yarn. It feels very luxurious. And it's cotton. So it's it'll be really breathable because there's a chance that it'll be really hot during the, the wedding. So we don't want to be I don't want to be like too warm. If it's cold, we'll deal with it, but I didn't want to be super hot in it. So that's where we're at right now. That's my little update for you. Hey, okay, we are back. I have had hours of work put into this. I'm working on the top part now. So it's gonna be off the shoulder with like this like lacy overlay. The thing is when you do this like crochet lace stuff, it takes forever, way longer than just doing like normal rows, just because I don't know, it's intricate. You're doing way more stitches in the same amount of space. When I crochet for too long, my brain stops working. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what I have. It's kind of on my lap right now, but so here is how far we are in this like lacy overlay. So here's like one sleeve. So you can see the detail work and then it goes all the way across. And then here's the other sleeve. So that's where we are. I think I'm maybe halfway done with the lace part. I'm not sure how much more there is how many more layers with this pattern but i'm really liking how it's turning out it looks very delicate i'm just gonna keep continuing on and then once i'm done with the the top i can start finishing the rest of the bodice and actually like making the corset on the back before starting on the skirt and then the skirt is going to just be forever and ever and ever and ever and ever just going in a circle <laughs> that is where we're at and I'm just gonna keep working on the top. I will give you an update then, and then that will probably be the end of this video. So stay tuned. I have an update, finally. If I'm wearing the same thing that I was wearing the other day, don't worry about it. This will be the final update for this part of the video or whatever, because this video is already getting too long. The top is finished. This, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> But when I tell you that this is like eight, eight hours of work, more or less, it is. I don't have the back finished, like the, the corset part yet. I can't put it on to show you all what it looks like, but that's okay. You will see it at some point. So here is what the final design looks like. It's kind of got this lacy look to it. And there you go. And so then I'm going to make this longer and then this is actually going to turn into the skirt. And this is like the little armholes and then it'll fall off the shoulder. 
So yeah, that is gonna be it for part one. And I'm gonna start working on the skirt and hopefully finish this dress. I'm actually making pretty good time on it, better time than I, than I thought I would. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get to work on it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It, I know it's probably pretty boring to watch me uh, crochet, but uh, this like really means a lot to me. And I'm really happy to be doing this. And yeah, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.